Hi there guys, uh, today we have a budget totem deck. This deck as ever contains no legendaries, no epics and no adventure cards. The idea of the deck is to flood your board with totems and then use Bloodlust and Thunderbuff Valiant to storm your enemy down and win the game. We have some things in there like Lightning Bolt, Stormford Axe and Lightning Storm to deal with your opponent's board. Uh, we want to buff up our stuff as well with Primal Fusion, you can get a big dude. And a bit of card draw with Azure Drakes and Manatide Totem. But other than that, it's a fairly straightforward deck to play. Uh, the idea is pretty simple. How well it does in the meta is dependent on the type of decks you're facing. It's not so great against say Reno Lock or Reno Mage because they tend to have a lot of answers, a lot of board clear uh, to deal with lots of minions but it works pretty well against classes like Druid where they don't have a lot of board clear and the decks are a little bit slower so it'll depend how the meta is, how it's shaped out after the recent nerfs to Small Time Buccaneer and Spirit Claws I think there are a few more mid-range decks out there at the minute. Having said that, I think it does reasonably well against Pirate Warrior because you do have some uh, things like Feral Spirit and your thing from below and you're going to be producing a lot of uh, totems and you're going to be flooding the board and they typically don't run board clear so I think you still have a decent chance if the main aggro deck out there is Pirate Warrior. So that's the deck uh, hopefully it'll work out well and we'll take it for a spin on ladder. Okay, let's see how we get on here. We're currently at uh, rank 14, middle of the season. So I think we'll do okay at that rank. Okay, a golden warlock. Should be interesting. So we're going to get rid of the Bloodfost and Thunderbluff Valiant and we'll keep the other two. So we'll count out the Totem Golem here. I love the Christmas deck. So seasonal. Okay, he's tapping. So that sounds like we are dealing with Reno Lock. Real luck tends to have a lot of answers. I think with hero power. Well, that's pretty good. So we do have two lightning storms here if he floods the board with stuff. It could be disco lock. Um, the fact he tapped earlier. Probably gonna be Reno Lock. So we could lightning storm here and just go face. I think we will do that. 
because we do have another one here. Hex would be good right now. Hmm. So we're going to do five damage. I think we're going to be going face here. I could kill this. Um. I think we should be going phase. Okay, that's good for us. Okay, so we know what's real luck. So we could axe this, this, if we hero power, 2, 2, 2, so we could hero power a thing from below, Stormforge. We are have to be afraid of Shadow Flame with this as well. I think we have to go face. I think we just have to risk this and go face. I don't think we'll use that now. If he does shadow flame here. Yeah. So see we draw. I think we just go face. I think we'll be lightning storm here. Get some spell boost. We could try and protect this. I don't think we will though. The issue with Reno Lock in this deck is they do have a lot of board clear and as we're going to be filling the board with totems we're likely to run out of steam. I 
think we're gonna be feral spirit here. Pretty much have to go for broke. Uh, it's probably gonna get done over for this, but I would fully expect to see uh, twisting nether or something. But I think we're at the stage we just have to risk it. I think we'll take these two out. Go face. Manatide's doing a lot of work for us here. Okay, finally got rid of it. Obviously hex that, but I don't see the point. I think we just go face and we'll then turn. Okay, there's a good hex target. So we still have a chance here, but given the cards, yeah, it's back to Mavlin answer. He's down to nine health. Answers. They do run a lot of board clear. He's down to six health now. This is a tough one. We could put him down to two. Then he will only need three damage to finish us off. I don't think we've any choice but to kill this. And I think we'll just end turn. I have no time for games. Yeah, we would have had lethal with double blood lost, which is unfortunate. So 
Uh, what a game. That's a great win for this deck. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you again.